Okay, so Tom, uh, this is Tom Claus. Take a video of the Gypsy Scamp. Uh, 25 foot CNC out of Cleveland, Ohio. Got a uh, Merc 99 outboard on that. Tiller. Um, I don't know how you're going to be able to see in the video. Uh, definitely needs a new paint job. Some uh, teak knee on the back needs to be cleaned up, oiled. I don't know if that needs to be replaced. Uh, some of the hardware really looks its age. Tow rail, pretty old. Uh, got some really old hardware on here. I don't know if that can be re chrome or rebuilt. Vents. Cleats are really looking kind of old. Um, port lights are really old. These, uh, this electrical tape is actually covering up the holes where I have the handrails that I've taken off. They were really loose, they need to be fixed. Um, so, I just, uh, I polished up the mast a little bit this spring. So that looks pretty clean. These are all new halyards. So, um, new boots on the... You know, got a uh, new end vein up there. I rewired it so you can kind of see here. Um, that's where I terminated some of it, the steaming light I didn't fix this summer. But in general, what I'm kind of looking for, I guess, Tom, is, you know, get this thing cleaned up, looking good. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the video there, but you can kind of see how the fiberglass is actually showing through the old gel coat. Um, got some good scratches on the hall, wear and tear, names coming off, so, um, this is, uh, I think the original hatch, it still works okay, actually, one of the things is broken, um, that's the excess wire that I brought down. That actually comes uh, out of the bottom of the mast. But here's a better picture of the deck. You kind of see how that fiberglass is shown through there, so it needs to be done. Spider cracks all over the boat. Um, yeah, so I mean, yeah, I'd like to get new hardware on this thing, new rails, and have it look really nice, but I don't know if we could just kind of clean some of this stuff up. Um, old wiring, I'm, I'm in the middle of kind of replacing these old lights, trying to put some LEDs in there. Um, got some new lines this year. So I'm not quite kind of sure what you want to see out here. Um, and we're all getting on this side of the boat. I've got a electrical connection there that's loose. Old cleats, old winches. Um, the cockpit, of course, it's dirty and old. Um, I am. I bought a new stereo to replace that speaker. There's actually two new speakers. Haven't put it in yet. Um, all old wiring. You can see kind of got some just old, it's just beat up. Old stain from the oils, cracked fiberglass or uh, patches. These rails are old, you know. I got this stuff happening all over the boat. That's kind of why I'm thinking I need it painted. Um, there used to be an inboard on this. Uh, it was an old Vire one cylinder that I took that out. So I patched the uh, through haul where the um, prop used to come out. But uh, I could take all these gears out. Um, the uh, you know underneath. You know, I'm kind of thinking it'd be nice to get this wiring cleaned up. I think they did a pretty good job of putting it in. Uh, I've never tried that outlet, that one, that outlet there. Um, 
I actually have one of those in the in the boat, but I haven't used it. I wish I would have tried that one. Um, got room for two batteries. Um, there's the air pump. I don't know what you need to kind of see down here, but um, it's dry. <laughs> well, at least this portion is. Um, then over here on the other side. this crap out of here that's where the old um, engine controls keys used to be and then this compartment I just have my ladder and um, anchor I need to get another anchor so inside the cabin uh, I've got some old plywood I need to get fixed these doors those have been teak is um, okay it's really beat up um, I've done a piss poor job of keeping it oil over the years um, I just I keep it outside all the time so I can never really kind of keep up with it the inside looks the inside teak looks fine looks good double battery um, the stairwell this is loose. <laughs> That's where the engine used to go in. Um, these are just kind of, this wood is just kind of like held in here. Um, might be, need to be fixed. <sighs> the condition of the inside is fine. I, well, I don't know. I, I think I could probably end up spending a lot of money in here and making it look better, but uh, how much better, I don't know. The wood, uh, you know, if I would oil a little bit better and take care of it would be pretty good. The V-berth up there, um, those are little, what are they, those little pole things. They actually put those over the lifeline to keep the swallows off, the swallow shit all over my boat. Um, but I've got a table in here. Uh, I'd love to get new cushions. So new cushions for this bench, new cushions for this bench. I'd like to get a new cushions for the V-berth, although I never use it. I'd like to, I think. And I'd also like to get some cushions to go the length of this boat. Sorry, the length of the cockpit, rather. All the way to that side. And then one that comes over here and goes all the way to the back so people have a place to sit. Uh, that's the gas tank, um, or the gas compartment, I should say. Uh, there's beautiful Cleveland, Ohio. Shitty ass uh, speaker. I just took my radio out for the year. So, you know, maybe it works fine for what I use it for. You know, I'm not in love with how they did uh, all the uh, gear, the gauges and stuff. Really, the only one I use there that works that I need is a depth finder. This is the compass over here. Uh, I've seen you kind of build a little wooden, you know, compartment to hold those that would kind of be cool i think i'd i'd like that my wife does not like all the wood stuff kind of makes her feel like old 1970 so but i also don't want to dump a bunch of money and then put an all new white you know i don't know you've done some good stuff um then they got a little head in here little head's old need to replace that uh, a little closet. I keep all my life jackets. Um, and then the V-berth. Um, everything's good back here, I think. Um, you know, the wiring comes in from up there, but it's old shitty wiring. Um, the wiring actually goes through uh, the bilge. There's wiring down there, so I'm going to go ahead and open up. Now, it is... I did just move it the boat, so it's got a little bit of water in it. Actually, it's got a lot of water in it, but the wiring is uh, wiring is underneath that water. There's my keel boats, belt bolts. Um, so I got to get my battery charged and get this stuff drained out. Um, new piece of wood here, maybe it'd be nice. I. My neighbor uh, or my buddy opened that up for me and fixed that, so it looks okay. Um, 
So that's this is the nutshell of it, really. I mean, you know, we don't really come down too much and spend any time on the table having some drinks with cushions, but I think maybe if we got it cleaned up a little bit with some new ports and get this thing looking good, maybe we would. There's a um, really nice, uh, really nice cooler here. This is a get that cleaned up. If I could, I think that drain works. But that's a uh, heck of a heck of an ice chest. You know, that, so that's kind of the boat, Tom. I mean, I'm not quite sure what you want to see. You know, I'd love to have this all stripped down and patched up and painted and new cushions on it. Get some new hardware. I'd like to get the thing uh, rewired so um, you know my stereo would work. Maybe get this outlet working so I could plug some stuff in if I wanted to. Maybe uh, the fresh water tank is in the, up here in the V-berth. Uh, I don't really use water in this thing. Twenty gallon? No, ten gallon maybe. But that's original, I think. Yeah. So, and then this uh, just storage. I think there's a through hole. That might be my depth finder. Um, yeah, anyway, so this is a good introductory video, Tom. I'm sorry it took so long to get, get it done and get it to you. Oh, this little door here. That's where my speaker is. Or my stereo, rather. Wired to that. There's some good room in here. Um, that's the gypsy scamp in a nutshell. I know you'll have a million questions for me. Probably want, need to re-videotape re some things, which is cool. Um, so. All right, Tom. All right, sir. Talk to you soon, buddy. Bye.